Graduated, elevated. Now it's my time to shine, yeah, let's go. Graduated, elevated. Now it's my time to shine, yeah, let's go. Major moves, power moves. Take it to the top one time, non stop. Gotta go, gotta flow. Take it to the. Uh, an issue. I told, uh, I believe that um, it can be beneficial if we, uh, we turn. Let's say, I, I was, let's say, among the teenagers, among the young. Uh, generation and I was not interested totally in politics and if I have mm -hmm. if, if, if I seen a uh, political uh, politician spoke speaking uh, in a TV I will change I will change the, cha the channel immediately mm -hmm. without any uh, any hesitation yet I've seen that the political discourse if discussed in humorous way mm -hmm. it will attract people and you will not feel that this thing is boring oh god what's he saying what she's mm -hmm. saying what they are talking about if we target you know, the new generation of uh, the the people in a humorous in a funny way it might uh, explain things and ease the things for them to understand because we do not know much in politics we do not know much in let's say in in scientific we do not we do not know much in uh, in um, in a domain or in a field that's not our field we are specialized in a kind of field but mm -hmm. we cannot understand uh, other fields however if i if we take a humorous examples humorous uh a humorous discussion uh, it will ease the thing for the people to understand especially if we are targeting um let's say low income and mm -hmm. middle class people who who think of the 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 major their priority is to gain a stable wage to be able to to educate well their children to be able to uh get uh to get a job to be a stable in a stable house a, politi a political discourse will be hard for them. However, mm -hmm. if it is funny and if it is discussed in a funny way, it will help. Yeah, mm -hmm. it will help. And it's it's currently happening in Algeria. We have different, let's say, uh, comedy shows mm -hmm. that discuss, let's say, good, let's say, um, hard uh, issues mm -hmm. in a funny way. And people, uh, and I'm seeing that people they are following those uh, those talks. Uh, on those uh, shows uh yeah it, it, it will them. ease the thing for it will ease the thing for the community to benefit from uh, maybe we have politicians there or we have good minds in politics and they are just uh, not they aren't they aren't aware of the political issue uh, because they think that it is hard for them to be there to be involved in mm -hmm. that but if it is simplified for them they will uh, they will be motivated, stimulated to uh, go to that field. Yeah, I, I, I think that that is true um, because it's not everybody, as you know, that can read and it's not everybody that can understand. Like you said, there's so many languages there. So the easiest way is to have one language translated to different languages. Then everybody has understanding in terms of the current situation. I do love that. Um, so what are the key debates then within your study area? I think we we have touched on, you know, the Piers Morgan debate with the comedian um, in terms of that. What, what is your take on that? And just for the audience at home, because we spoke about it previously. Uh, okay, uh, I was I was let's say see, uh, watching the the interview, and I was shocked how manipulative was uh, best music. He was just using using his expressing let's say the Palestinian Israeli conflict in a very funny way, and he was using let's say kind of a dialect. Uh, an Arabic word, a hey, which is oh God, I've seen this movie before. I've seen this movie before, but he was so he was using that that funny that funny tone, that funny mm -hmm. language to let's say discuss that issue that wasn't known. It might be not well known or well defined to the mm -hmm. whole uh, universally. But after that, that after that that uh, interview, I've seen that many people were looking, were searching on that issue, on that case, on that conflict between the, those two two people. There were also the, uh, let's say, Romanian 
تيك توكر جينيس جينيس هو لا هو ليتس سي موك ذا اسرائيلي كوميونيتي ان ا فاني واي يوزين شي شي از فلوينت ان انجلش شي شي يوز انجلش ان ا فيري ليتس سي كوميك واي تو ريديكيول ذا اسرائيلي ليتس سي Uh, is Israeli in in general. But mm-hmm. I found that oh, humor is really important to, and she's gaining, let's say, sub, sub, subscribers and gaining uh, watches on TikTok. And I, and it was, it was a guest at uh, Al Jazeera channel. Uh, she was talking about yeah. After I talked about that topic in in a humorous way, in a funny mm-hmm. way, many were asking, were sending me, let's say, were sending her, uh, mm-hmm. let's say, invitation and inquiring about what the issue. How, mm-hmm. They were asking her what was the the thing, how things developed, what how can we help, uh, and uh, and stuff like that. But I think humor really matter, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to. To sensible and um, current issues, we, we are living in. We don't want to be so serious when discussing things, now, including or involving uh, kind of fun in our discussion. Will help, let's say, will help us and will help our uh, our interlocutor to feel at ease. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think that humor will will, will really matter, especially within the, the policy of this course. Instead of yelling at at the other instead of uh, making a kind of fight you can mm-hmm. just uh, use humor and f- make it a uh, fun make it a uh, relaxing funny mm-hmm. uh, conversation or debate or discussion why not why not exactly I, I i agree with that i think humor breaks the ice as as one would put it and also it can be educational as we can see with your thesis anyway So um, as we're getting to the end of these questions, so in terms of your research then, looking back to submission and you've talked about your key findings, who are the key contributors, if you could name three authors that have helped you to shape your thesis and also to help with your thinking? Just in case someone wants to look at something similar around the world. Uh, okay, when it comes to humor, there is a, a very, uh, let's say, informative thesis done by an, uh, uh, a Jordanian, a Jordanian um, PhD student. Mm-hmm. I think his name was Muhammad. Uh, I think Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad Samah or something like that. I have. We have also. Um, Mahmoud Nassar, he's a good, he had done uh, about pol- impoliteness, impoliteness mm-hmm. uh, in the Lebanese, uh, during the Lebanese uh, uprising, it was, mm-hmm. it was includes as well humorous, he included humor as a, a finding, as a theme that was included there. And we have as well, um, my colleague uh, and my my friend, my classmate, uh, Huda Nur Huda uh, Abdelhai. He, he, he has done as well a research uh, related to um, as well, impoliteness in Iraq, imposters, and within including humor as an impacting factor. Mm-hmm. Now, according to, they are, uh, they are available, their thesis and their, uh, let's say, articles are available uh, online. And uh, we have also, uh, who else? I think there there is uh, another. There are two uh, two people, two researchers from one of from uh, from Australia, and another was uh, I think from Europe, but I cannot remember exactly the country. They dealt mm-hmm. uh, with political humor and the Romanian. I have noticed that Romanian people they do talk a lot of a lot of about humor in mm-hmm. politics. They do really appreciate humor within the political uh, discourse. There are many, and you, know, you can mm-hmm. find. Uh, we have more, but in in Turkey, we have uh, uh, we have Lehlali uh, in Egypt. Uh, who else? Uh, who else? Let me just remember them to to make that kind of schemata. To remember. <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, 
I have read their works and he, yeah. in a very attentive way. I was mm-hmm. looking, digging there, their work to mm-hmm. find something to benefit from. But mm-hmm. I, they are their names are stuck in here. <laughs> yeah, there you are. You can, you can. I was just going to, maybe. Yeah, what I was going to say is what we could do potentially is if you could send me the names of um the top three or the top five that you would recommend then we could share them in the bio and also because i know with mohammed there's mu there's mo for mohammed the spelling we might get it wrong and send people to the wrong author so i think if you could potentially share the correct spellings that would help us to share because i think some people might be interested like i spoke to you the guest um, that I've got, he's looking at art in Zimbabwe in terms of how it was expressing the inequalities within the country and how the person who did the art was potentially locked. Well, he was locked up and um, his art was taken away from him and it belonged to the state because they didn't want that to come out um, to the indig- indigenous people of Zimbabwe. So I think it's beneficial, you know, for us to share all those links just in case if people are interested. So moving on then, in your opinion, yes, sure. sorry? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, sure. I will send you the links. And if you want, I can send the works, uh, their works uh, in the form of PDF. Definitely. I do have Definitely. them. Yeah. No, no, brilliant. Yeah, I will, I will, I will share them. I I do. I do love to see people to to see people you know, looking and doing research, enriching that field of research. Yeah, mm-hmm. it will be beneficial yeah. for all of us. <laughs> Lovely. No, I think it will be as well. So, in in your opinion, do you feel fulfilled when you publish an article? Do you feel like I've made it? Yeah, you cannot imagine how happy, how thrilled I was when my supervisor, when the one sent, sent me, when I received the email, congrats, your, uh, your, your article was accepted, you're ac- accepted for publication. Yeah. I was extremely thrilled. I was uh, upon among the, the, the angel, I was dancing with angels, let's say. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Believe me. I was waiting for it to be published and I've told all my relatives, all my friends, Mm -hmm. my article was published, finally, I have done it. And it was hard to publish in uh, in a Q1 uh, Q1 journal, uh, especially within within a political discourse and a new, let's say I have taken the political, I have dealt with the uh the 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 issue the political discourse from a different angle from a different perspective no one I, to the best of my knowledge no one has dealt with humor imposters mm-hmm. from multimodal discourse but they mm-hmm. dealt it they dealt with the humor from with a critical discourse analysis they they haven't uh, dealt with let's say the images they mm-hmm. the, either they dealt with images simply or mm-hmm. with the uh, with the, the the language, but I have made, made a mixture. Let's say mm-hmm. I took humor, I took the images, the pictures, the cartoons. T- I took the language, the uh, the slogans, and I put them in a mixture and mix all together to come up with this juicy, let's say, work. Yeah, and don't forget the questionnaires <laughs> and ah. the questionnaires that you did. <laughs> So no, you did uh, you did a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a long journey. It was a, mm. a long hard journey. But at the end, then after you you got you you got the, the your degree after your viva and uh, the jury were just uh, inquiring during my viva. The jury was just inquiring. I was just uh, looking to them and oh god, I will be stuck here forever. Then they told me, ah, oh, okay, your work is good, is pretty good, but we have. Uh, kind of little, little remark would you just re-explain mm-hmm. uh, this issue they weren't asking question I was just why don't you ask a question why don't mm-hmm. you ask a question but they were just adding commands that uh, is this the the thing or shall shall you is it another issue if I was just re-explaining mm-hmm. uh, re-explaining the things to them uh, within their culture using their culture as a base because mm-hmm. I told you uh, before that the different cultural background 
gives different interpretation. But it does. As I, it, it, it does. It, and what I believe is humorous, it might not be humorous in your country or in your, uh, in your background from where you come. It doesn't, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't make me laugh, but it makes me really laugh when seeing that kind of picture, especially the idea of the glue. Uh, yeah. it, it's really, it's, it's funny. It makes, it pokes fun. <laughs> No, I, I agree. You know, we, we say banter here and um, what you will find is in most places, let's say businesses, you know, universities, etc. They will say, don't, please don't use humour in terms of banter because it may be offensive to somebody else. You would think it's appropriate, but it's not, you know, appropriate to someone else, which is basically what you're saying. So, no, I, I do understand. The next question is. Do you think higher education breaks the poverty cycle or do you think, no, it doesn't? Would you just repeat your question, please? I couldn't hear you correctly. Sorry. So do you think higher education in terms of uh, a PhD, a DBA or a master's, it breaks the poverty cycle or do you think, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter? Uh, no, of course, you know, getting your PhD, it will, let's say, enrich your knowledge. It will uh, gives much to you. It will give much to you as a human being, as a citizen, uh, and it will open, let's say, open your eyes again to the world. Doing a research, uh, mm -hmm. doing a, taking, um, let's say, when you are at at middle school, at high school, let's say, you might be just doing that to get that grade, to looking for, I want to pass to the next year, but doing a kind of research and working on it. And because a PhD, it needs reading. You mm -hmm. are a researcher, you are a reader, you are cultivating yourself. But that's mm -hmm. why I, I've told you, I, after doing my PhD thesis, I was, I was, let's say, inclined to, to enter the political discourse. I was not aware of that field at all, but doing that research opened my eyes towards a new field of life, a new field of, uh, of research, a new field that's different from education. From I am uh, an instructor at university, but doing a kind of that, that research uh, gave me the opportunity to see the world from the perspective of a politician, from a perspective of a critique, I thought that that's uh, in doing uh, the PhD. Um, it's the ladder. It's the first mm -hmm. step in a ladder that takes you to places you have never imagined that you will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important you know, to continue your, uh, your 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 journey, your mm -hmm. educational journey. Don't stop there. Just go for it if you want to. If you want and you be you think that you are able to do, just start it and continue till you achieve that goal. And you do not give up your dreams. Just go there and dig and look for it. You might you might find things you have never imagined that you will find. Wow. I, I do love that and thank you for sharing because I think for some people. Um, they will look at their environment as we're talking about politics and they have that natural fear to chase their dreams. So, you know, thank you very much for, for sharing. The final question is, do you think PhD hard talk is a good idea or do you think, Norma, that's not working, stop it, don't interview any more people, call it a day? What, what what are your true opinions on PhD hard talk? Just stop there and don't do <laughs> don't do more research. You want me to do that, to say that? No, of course <laughs> you're doing a great job. I told you you're doing a great job. You're just breaking the barriers between the research and after we finish our research as PhD students as and we graduate, we just feel oh god we are too tired. We've we've done much work. And now it's going to be forgotten forever. No one will look for it. No one will uh, know about it. But your, let's say, your, your, your PhD hard talk gives us the 
give us the opportunity to share our knowledge to the world. Now, now my work is worth it's worth to be uh, to be redone, to be reused, to be referred to, to be mm-hmm. let's say some some people will benefit from it. I I haven't done it, uh, let's say like that. It doesn't. It's just. It's just put there in a library, and dust will uh, will will eat it. Dust and spider will <laughs> eat it. But some people are benefit are getting benefits from mm-hmm. it, and it's beneficial. And what what you are doing is, let's say, uh, it's heavenly. Uh, it's it's it is uh it's a gift from God. Let's say to see you mm-hmm. and to share this. <clears throat> This conversation with you, I I was really I was really let's say excited to to be one of your guests and thank you for giving me this let's say uh, this opportunity to share my work my uh, my my perspective my knowledge with with you and to take from you uh, various information and various knowledge. Thank you very much. Now to everybody at home, if you do want to get in contact with Dr. Badger, please feel free to look up the details at the bottom. So the email address, university, and also LinkedIn details there at the bottom. And if you do want to read any papers that have been published there at the bottom, but please be kind if we don't get back um, in contact with you within 24 working hours, sometimes we're really busy. Um, So please give us grace in in terms of that. It's been wonderful talking to you and thank you so much for um, teaching us about humour, posters and also in terms of, well, not civil war, but, you know, in terms of movements, really. We've seen the WE movement, we've seen Black Lives Matter, we've seen the LGBTQ plus movement. And, you know, we've seen all movements on PhD Hard Talk, but today it was um, refreshing to talk about the al Harak movement hopefully i said that right and um i've been educated great i'm doing great (laughs) love it you're doing great you're doing great with the arab with the arabic language you might you should learn it by the way it's 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 not it's not hard for you i you have the 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 the, let's say you can produce the sounds you can produce the hard sounds (laughs) <laughs> I'll take that on board and I'll say thank you so much and um, I wish you all the best in in your career, um, you know, inshallah, but thank you very much for your time. Hopefully I got that one right there. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, thank you very much for having me uh, in this in this uh, in, in this hard talk, PhD hard talk. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share my work with you. And uh, it's nice to meet you. I I hope that this is, this is not the last time to talk together. I really enjoyed discussing issues with you. Thank you very much.